Yo, what up, everybody? I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud, and this is another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Hey, hey, we Happy back. Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? Stacks on deck. I'm just doing this for Black History Month, representing for all the real ones. Nice. I feel different when I got cash on me, like this. You like, feel I don't like know if it's, I don't know if it's, Yeah, kind of. You be talking to it. I don't do the money phone that much, but you know, it's just different. Like you know, you got you got something like this on you at any point. You're like, who you talking to? I'll smack the shit out of you with $10,000. Who are you talking to? What if they take it and run? That is a risk. Then you're like, yeah. yeah and then risk. they're just like, damn. That's all you needed in life was $10,000? So now you can't come back around here. <laughs> Make that threat right there like you're going to do something? That's a crazy threat. Like, here's some money. Like, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> That's one of those things. Like, if you slap somebody with $10,000, like, you can either pick up the money or you can try to fight me. What you going to do? Can't do them both. Damn. That, that would be so disrespectful. But it would be like, super disrespectful. It feels like you could keep it after. You know, like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> My dignity is worth less than ten thousand dollars. <laughs> it's a disrespectful thing, but it's like, is it is it so disrespectful you need that get back? Or can you can you accept it and then just take the money? What's the what's the scenario? Um I can smack you with the ten thousand at any point. And it's throughout the day, you got 24 hours of me somehow popping up on you and throwing this at you. So it's just like, it's more of like, it's more like, like that instead of like just slapping with Oh, me. and we talked about it already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why not? I thought it was like some like crazy disrespect. Like, hey, bitch, what's up? What you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> but like, if they damn. catch you at any point, like let's say you you having a frustrating day, uh, one part of your day is super frustrating, car's not working. There's a line building behind you. Your phone's going off. It's a baby crying behind you, and you kind of like fluster. And that person walks up, stupid ass, and then throws the money in your face. That's best case scenario, because <laughs> you just you already having a rough day, but now you just got smacked with ten thousand dollars. Like ah, oh. you say that Whew. now while that you're not so going much better. All of that shit happening at one time, though. If all of that shit was happening at one time, I think your adrenaline might, might, might. Give but, a different response. But I was already prepped to the fact that once the slap happens, the ten thousand mm-hmm. is mine. I would that would be a good time to come actually. Yeah, because yeah. all that stuff is happening. You just like ah, and, now they, <laughs> and then you're just like oh, I just got ten thousand dollars. <laughs> I've had rough days without that part. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what I'll do you look it. forward to at the end of a rough? Like if you have a rough day, what's your saving grace? What do you is it just getting home and having that piece of quiet? Is it Getting a meal that's going to be comforting and and like mine is a shit. Yeah, I like I'm like you know what I'm taking shit and I'm just flush this day away. But wouldn't you have to do that anyway? But you like focus your bad energy into your boo boo. Mm-hmm. That's I just hold it, hold it until there. I can see that working. Okay, it's like it's like ceremonial. But you see, you live alone too, though. I mm-hmm. got the kid at home, got family at home. When I go home, I have to engage with two other people. Yeah, that's with tough. matching energy. I feel so going to the bathroom and releasing it there is just like this is my quiet place. This gives mm-hmm. me a chance to like fucking get the day off of me. I hear that almost everybody I know with kids or who uh, has their partner live with them, mm-hmm. like bathroom is like the sanctuary. That's yeah, like nobody the, gonna come in there while you shouldn't. That's the uh, typically they won't. The, 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 the safe won't. place. I think isolation is my main one. Like going home, being by myself. If it's been like a really rough day, I might order like some Postmates, something I wouldn't normally eat, you know, like a, like something just disgusting, and then I'll just fall asleep in what's my own disgust- filth. What's a disgusting meal? What's something that you wouldn't normally? Eat? Um, Del Taco, Taco <laughs> Bell, like pizza, burgers, just something that I would not throughout the week. I wouldn't. You don't want eat to pizza eat. throughout the week? No, actually, this weekend was the most pizza I've probably had in like a couple years. Really? Yeah, because we had pizza during the Super Bowl. And then for some reason, the day before that, I had barbecue chicken pizza. And then on Friday, I had pepperoni pizza. It's just a pizza party all, <laughs> all weekend. Jesus, that is a lot That's a lot of pizza. There might have been a day in between. I might have taken a little pizza break. But Shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll eat something gross. Um, I try not to... I was just talking about this with my friend Kyle yesterday. I try not to, like, do anything like smoking or drinking in a negative way mm-hmm. you know like oh i had such a rough day let me put some back let me smoke all-. you know like yeah i try to only do that as like a celebratory or even just like a uh like a feel-good chill type of thing but i try not to like dump the day into like a vice oh that's good yeah so you don't do that 
it doesn't become a habit of every time you have a bad day, oh, man, I need a drink, I need a smoke. I yeah, because, I mean, if that was the case, it wouldn't be necessarily for bad days, but long days was like that. Like, if you mm-hmm. shot all day, and then you go home, you're like, oh, I don't want to make myself a drink. But then that, you know, I, I shot something that was like six days long. Yeah. So, like, at the end of every day, it was just like... It was a long day, but you can't really do too much because you got something to do the next day. So yeah, I try to just. Well, I, I mean, shit, most of the shit that we would do, like you, you, if you do too much of it, you're not gonna be productive the next day anyway. Right. So you have to like hold it off until the end and be like, yeah, I, I do, I do this mm-hmm. on the last day because the way I drink, right, not gonna be productive tomorrow if I drink like that tonight. Especially when you just have a bunch of fun stuff to do that goes hand in hand. I remember you were talking about like, um, uh. Zooming with the homies. Mm-hmm. That was every single night. Oh so my God. that's that's super easy, especially like streaming, stuff that you do all the time and you're just like, I wanna have fun and I'll 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 smoke first or like I'll take a shot first. Yeah. And then like halfway through, you're just like, I'm kinda tired. I don't want <laughs> I don't wanna talk. I don't wanna talk as often as I as I am right Bro, now. Bro, that was a crazy time. I was really on that shit Monday through Friday, two hours a night. I don't know how anybody could do that actually. It is was that, insane. Is that pretty much what having a talk show is? Uh, to a certain degree, yeah. I mean, they, I think they film sometimes two shows on Thursday so they can have that Friday off. Oh, um, huh. But yeah, for the most part, and they, I mean, it's it's longer than that because they have to get there, go through makeup, go through any script changes, anything like that. Every day, every day. It's Monday like through Thursday. five a.m. It start. I forget who was talking about it. It might have been like David Letterman or Jay Leno, but it was like booking that job obviously meant. You're relevant and rich for a very, very long mm-hmm. time. But he basically was saying like he forfeit his life for that. Oh yeah, you because can't, it's you, every single day. You can't tour mm-hmm. as a comedian. If you're a comedian that lands a a daytime or nighttime talk show, you can't tour unless mm-hmm. you use your vacation for that. But who the fuck wants to tour on their vacation? Because they do do vacation. They mm-hmm. have guest hosts and shit like that. But bro, it's ah, it's it's basic prison. It's a very lavish mm-hmm. and paying well prison, but you can't it's go prison. Anywhere. Yeah, you can't do anything. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know what the stipulations are and regulations are, but like I know, one time I had went to this uh, this. It was a something they did downtown, and they had like a lot of faces of brands there. And Flo was there, and she was talking about how she literally can't do anything that would change her appearance. Drastically, hmm. so she can't get any tattoos. She can't dye her hair a different color, even though they use a wig. Like they have all these stipulations on her of what she can't do because you are the face of a brand. Mm-hmm. So a lot of they times, like A list actors, like um, Will Smith and and Tom Cruise and stuff like that, they're insur- They have to have insurance policies because they're such a a, a big name client. Um, they're not supposed to ride motorcycles. Definitely not. Obviously, supposed to drink or drive. Uh, regardless, I mean. How does Tom Cruise get away with that? I just saw him drive a motorcycle off a cliff. I, I know, right? He has a different. He he a different type, bro. That's crazy. That motherfucker owns Mission Impossible. He owns the license and the rights. Serious? To name, so yes. And that came as it got successful, or from the beginning? I think he, as I, it got successful. Yeah, as it got the last successful. few movies, he's credit. He's an executive producer on them. Damn. Does that always mean you own it? No, but it means you're paying for a large portion of it, or you're you've got a large. Damn. You got money invested, invested in, it. in it. Yeah, that makes sense. I like. I like that system, you know. Mm-hmm. Like people, it seems like studios are are just now trying, like, starting to do that with people, like, like giving your actor a cut of everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping that's gonna be a a thing with like voice acting and 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 everything. Shout out to Jesse Wright, my buddy's making a game right now, and he's trying to change it so that characters who do the voice also get a cut of. Like game sales and and all that oh, kind of stuff, clutch. because like we've gone to cons and we've seen people we grew up watching, kind of like signing pictures of mm-hmm. characters that they did, but it's like it's they're not as into it because they're they're signing all this merch and stuff that they got nothing from. Yeah, you know? they're just kind of remembered for the the adaptation and they might get like twenty thirty bucks for each photo, but I could I could only imagine how hype people would be if they were like a bigger part of it. That shit is crazy to me. It's it's all parts of entertainment are so crazy. There's so many dark places. Like, I just did a commercial this past week, and when you're not the principal talent, mm-hmm. they be treating background people like sheep. Man, like, cause they they like usually if you're on site, they have uh, 
a person that does the food and stuff that is going to take care of breakfast and lunch, but they also come through with snacks throughout the day and drinks and stuff like smoothies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But they really just go to like the crew and the principal. So the rest of the background and stuff like that, man, they they just, they, they, I got shafted. How'd they get like food? I stuff? mean, like sometimes they'll get what's left over. Mm -hmm. um, but then other than that, you have to go to Crafty, get a bag of chips or something like that if they have it. But most big productions have a Crafty truck or something like that. You can get it, you can get that. But like background people, they just don't get a say, awarded the same luxuries. They do on the same time. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, longer times. Uh, this commercial I just did with Don Cheetah, I was there at like 6.30 and didn't get cut to almost 7. P.M.? P.M. And I didn't film all day. You didn't film once? Not once, all day. They brought me back the next day. I got there at 6.30 again. And they Damn. started my scene, which was the last scene, started my scene at 5.45 p.m. So all day I was just sitting there. That was the first day or the second day? This is the second day. Oh, so you, damn. Yes. And then it was the last scene. And because the client is there, you know, they'll, they'll shoot a scene and they'll wait for the client to okay it. Say hey, we can move on, or I want to get a couple more of this right here. So shot a couple scenes, and everybody went in. I'm thinking that you know they're going in to, to see what the client thinks and stuff like that. And I'm just there, I'm fidgeting with some stuff. Like all right, next time I'm gonna do it like this. Whoop, whoop. And then somebody comes out and get me. Like what are you doing? Come on in. I'm like nobody told me. I go in. They're doing the celebratory rap speech, and I'm just like y'all just left me out there in the alley. What? What you thought you were filming? I thought we were gonna come back and do another take. Oh shit. And I just was like. All right. Damn. It's a cold game. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> it's a cold game. A 12-hour day is already tough, but it, it goes by faster when you're kind of like doing a bunch of stuff. So that must yeah. have been hell. It was. I what, were you, what was you doing? Waiting. That was really just like it? Hurry up and wait. Damn. They saw that shot Don Cheetah out first day. So he was done. The second day, they was just doing like the pickup shots. You get a trailer the, or anything to wait in? Or? Nope. Uh, yeah. Just kind of like lingering? We were at this venue downtown, this restaurant, and it was in there, and it was cold because they had the doors open on both sides, and air was coming in. It was, it was, it was cold. Did That's you get rough. paid for the whole day? Yeah, I got, I got paid for both days, um, and uh, hopefully residuals on this commercial. It is, it's a big budget commercial, and the crazy thing is they, they did the fitting on Warner Brothers lot, so I could have did the fitting the same day as everyone else, but because I didn't know it was on the Warner Brothers lot, I had to go. The next Monday before the shoot and all that. it was a, it was just a lot. Damn. A lot. Yeah, background is that's like a whole underworld. And it's crazy. Like when I was uh I think I was still an intern or maybe a PA at all deaf. Mm -hmm. I was doing background work. I was going up to like Universal and stuff. Really? Yeah. It was like <laughs> a lot. I did a court show. I did a uh like a it wasn't really a game show, but it was one of those places with like a live audience. Mm -hmm. And they had like warm up comedians. They had Yeah. It was like, it's crazy because, like, talking to everybody, their whole thing is background work. Mm -hmm. So, everybody's talking about the other stuff that they did background work on and, like, kind of like get, trying to get into character. People be taking that shit real oh, serious. Do. Like, you ever watch the do. background of Fresh, Fresh Prince and people be, like, having real fake conversations <laughs> and trying to, like, steal the show? And it's like, this impossible. <laughs> it's really impossible. You're not mic'd. <laughs> no, but in, in that moment, you think that I'm going a, I'm to a be looking so real, so serious. Right. They're going to be like, who is this guy? We need him in front of the camera next time. That's, that's in your mind. Is. Yeah, yep. that's what you. Yeah, because that's what you tell yourself. Yeah, yeah, very rarely, but it can. Super rare. But if they point at you and be like, "Hey, you say this," then you get bumped up to like a talking thing. Mm -hmm. Or I think pay. what is it called? Furlough? Or if you if you're in like three, then you get. I don't know. I forget the system of it, but it is some pretty high hopes going yeah. on in them background. What's up guys, it's T here more and I'm here back again to tell you about Factor. If you're a person like me uh, that doesn't have a super flexible schedule, you're all over the place, then you need to be getting with Factor. All right, first, of, first and foremost, they are fresh. They are never frozen. They come to your house already chilled, all right? Not frozen, chilled. It takes two minutes to heat these up. And I know what you're thinking, T, they probably don't even taste like nothing. You'd be wrong, okay? You'd be a fool to think that, but I understand why you ain't never tasted it because I went into it thinking, all right, what's this going to be? Fire. Do you hear me? Fire. They got everything for low calorie. They got keto meals. They got, listen, you can make sure that you're getting the quality. You make sure you're getting the calorie intake. You make sure you're sticking with whatever plan that you're trying to do. You can do all of that and more with 
Factor. All right, they got fast meals ready in under two minutes. They got snacks, smoothies, and more. You get to discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. You sign up and save. Um, I've done the math, man. It's cheaper for me and a lot of y'all to do Factor, okay? Factor is a perfect solution if you're looking for fast upscale options done easy. I fully support and believe in it. I'm encouraging you guys to check it out. This year, I was like, I want to do better, but I can't trust me to do it on my own, so I had to enroll with Factor, and, and I, I'm I'm very satisfied with my decision. So I'm going to tell y'all, hit the factormeals.com slash DIYS50. Use the code DIYS50 to get 50% off. That's code is DIYS50 at factormeals.com slash DIYS50 to get 50% off. Do it now. Well, I'll, one I'll of the jobs helpful. they were trying to do away with with AI, and that, that's what the strike was all about. In that, yeah, they background gonna, talent. They were going to scan people in and then just populate the background with whoever they wanted to digitally. Yeah, and they would use your face in perpetuity. So that's why it was a, a big thing idea, because, oh yeah, of course, right for the for the studio. <laughs> yeah. But like for the actors, it's like one, we're out of a job. Two, mm-hmm. you're using my likeness, and I'm not getting paid every time you use my likeness because mm-hmm. they were going to pay them a half a day's work for their face forever. Oh, no residuals or anything? Fuck no, no residuals. Do, ba- do backgrounds get that anyway? Or no? No, oh, but you okay. also not... You're, but but then they can they, use you in perpetuity. They don't have yeah. to rehire you for They don't ever have to hire a background oh, again. Oh, not just for that project. No, forever. You will be in... You're in hard drive 3498. <laughs> hey, we want a background with this many black, this many white, this many others. Damn. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what they were trying to do. cold-ass likeness for them to keep... Finding you. <laughs> okay, we need the nigga with the dreads in the back at the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But give him a, what's the guy with the eyes? Give him the guy with the eyes his nose. Give him his Damn, nose. Damn, is that poss- Is that part of it? I'm sure that Mixing could, be, people that could up? have become part of it. Because, I mean, you know, video games, they have the make your own character generators and that. Mm-hmm. They're not super realistic. So, I mean, when that technology yeah. gets better. Ooh, gets I know better. the butthole clenched when they heard that news. Man. <laughs> That's a cold game, man. Mean? I read somewhere That's where, crazy. like, you can't draw. A new person, like you as a person, you're gonna pull for oh, somebody that right. you've seen before. Imagine too, yeah, you imagine. Yeah. You can't so, even imagine a new face. So like that breaks that 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 barrier now, because you got five thousand faces to pull from to mix and match. Mm-hmm. You take somebody's this part, they take somebody else's eyes, and then take somebody's bottom part. And you got then who gets part. the likeness? All three of them or none of them? It don't matter. It's a brand new likeness. Whoa, you got unlimited faces. I feel like that would be the loophole because if they make like custom, then they don't have to pay nobody. They already won't pay no playing nobody. Damn. So they'd be like, me in the that's me in the back. Well, that's my eyes. <laughs> 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 Those are my legs. <laughs> I don't know what they do with the rest of it. It's a cold ass game, man. <laughs> Damn. It's a cold ass game, man. Yeah. What would be if your if your whole thing was background work, yeah. what would be your dream project to do background work at? Um, I would have loved to have been on in, in, in something Matrix. Mainly the first It'd be one. Dingy though, the background. It's like they're all in like Yeezy and it's yeah. dirty. <laughs> it's it just would have been the first one. I would have wanted to be on the right. first one. Everything after the first one was like ah. Eh. But that first one when they went to the club, when he followed the white rabbit, that would have been the only thing I would have been done. They wouldn't have gave me no fighting parts. They wouldn't have had my. My ass being yeah. No, I definitely ain't doing no background work in a fight in a fight scene. <laughs> it men. <laughs> nah, they ain't gonna have me doing that. But yeah, that would have been dope. Also, uh, God man, damn. Harry Potter. Wow, that'd be tight. Cause you know they looking for black wizards in the background. That one that black wanted. wizard was probably the most famous background. I've ever seen because everybody talked about it. Like, oh, look, 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 there's a black guy in Hogwarts. <laughs> Hit him with a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? You know who he is. Uh-oh. This is going to be good. He, you seen How to Get Away with Murder? No, yeah. Ah, damn. No, I didn't. Oh. It, one of the black guys that was in Harry Potter, um, he was on How to Get Away with Murder. Mm-hmm. And then the other guy, he was on the TV show Community. Oh, shit. Really? He was Magnitude. So he's got he's the one with the locks on Harry Potter that's always announcing at the Quidditch ma- matches. Oh. But on Community, it's hilarious because he's British, and all he says on Community is pop, pop. <laughs> His name is Mag. All he says is pop, pop. But anyway, if you watch that show. I did I, watch that show. I don't remember that at all. That's Childish Gambino's show, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't his. Yeah. Yes. I didn't, didn't watch understand. any of that. I'm not I'm not thoroughly involved in Harry, Harry Potter at all. Uh, mm-hmm. Didn't watch Community. And uh, what was that, the first thing you said? How to get 
Yeah. I didn't watch that. Yeah. I watched a couple of episodes. Yeah. I didn't I watch that I, scandal. I know. I saw a couple of episodes. I saw one with him, and then I was like, I knew she had that that, that her core group that, you know. But yeah, I didn't under you know. I tried to watch Scandal, but it like Scandal for me turned into like the same thing as um power. It was like they could just fix everything with fucking. And I was like, this is not believable. They could what? Fix everything with fucking. What you mean? Like they would be like, oh, we gotta get this before the story leaks and then the president is connected to this. I'm gonna go talk to him. She was gonna talk to Franz, this is uh 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 and they'd be like, well, how, wait, how, what, what how problem was solved? A, a nut, evidently. Oh, you're saying that's what they did do? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like they should have done that. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, scandal and power, everybody gets into a situation and then starts smashing, and then that's it? Yep. Yep. Mm. yep. Scandal, power, uh, weeds. Was it weeds? With oh, uh, yeah, that white lady. The white lady was selling in the suburb, and then she would get into it with a drug lord, and they are like, guys. you're selling on my spot. She'd be like, well, I have this vagina. And they'd be like, hmm. yeah, it's all good. vagina. She and I'm just like, <laughs> carried her way out of so are, many crazy situations. These are crazy fucking situations. drug lords. They kill people for being a dollar off the count. She kept and getting away with it. And this mid-ass suburban-ass vagina? <laughs> this can't, it can't be no better. I was like, they got to be going wrong. Because there's no wild. way <laughs> this condom sex is going to get her out of losing a kilo. Nah, nah Right, I right. They kill women. Cartels kill women. Hey, absolutely. They kill whole <laughs> families. <laughs> they kill families. And she was getting out of with some mid-vagina. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm not buying it. really ridiculous. I'm not buying it. Who is this for? I was into it at first. <sighs> I'm not sure if I could survive a rewatch. I just started watching Dexter again, and that, that show will never get old. Do you like it? I tried to watch the first season. I started. Mm-hmm. I think I might have got like six episodes episodes in the first season. And I was just like, "What did you like about it?" That's like true crime shit, though, too. Yeah, but all right. So, and obviously, for obvious reasons, it's like only a white guy could have got away with this. Mm. You're, you first of all, you have this. You have this job. He right? was really creepy. Very yeah, openly very, creepy. Too. Yeah. Um, and the, the way you're killing people, like how much time you're taking setting out the plastic and all of this, it's just, I don't know. It just, it you didn't, didn't do hold a mask my, either. No mask. Yeah, no mask. Mm-hmm. I, I couldn't get into the believability realm enough to respect it to keep watching it. I was just like, I can't. I, I just. I can see that. He's yeah. a phenomenal actor, though. And I feel like with that show, just like how you said, like with the fucking. A mask would have solved 90% of his problems, too. Because it's just like, he just like goes and like does his thing, and then somebody sees him, he's like, oh, shit, that's the problem for the right. next three episodes. And then, wasn't his sister a cop or something like that? The, the worst cop in TV Ever. history. In How do you TV not history. know your brother is a fucking psychopath this long? And Grew both, up with y'all him. In, both of y'all in law enforcement. Grew up with him. The dad was clearly doing like side mm-hmm. projects with her that she wasn't allowed to. Then she ended up dating... The other serial killer. So she she was like, her, she was dating the serial killer brother. Her brother was a serial killer. Like it was just the worst. It was hard interpretation of I the Miami I don't Police know, Department. Yeah, you're, you're, this is bad. This is why we don't need a wall. We need competent officers. Cause this is dumb. <laughs> he was <laughs> very clearly a creepy forensics. He was always there when they got on the scene, and he was just like, "I got the call first. Right. And we're like, oh, I was already in the area. Picking up some like forensics some food. ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go by myself. Get a get a before the cops. It was just like, it, yeah, you're right. It was pretty like, unbelievable. But that's ah, definitely one yeah, of my I favorite just, series I just, ever. I could not get. I wanted to. So much stuff I be wanting to get with. I just be like, ah, I can't do it. I gotta watch to the. That's end. why it's so hard for me to jump into anime. It's like, it's so much stuff. The anime not on an unbelievable side, but like it's just it's daunting. Like. Uh, Attack on Titan and One Punch and One Piece. It's like it's so many episodes. I'm never gonna catch up, that's, and I get yeah, frustrated. That's why I won't stop. And this. intimidated. I'm like, ah, I just want to watch. I just watch Family Guy. That's how I am too. One Punch Man is actually really short. With I'll do those. One Punch Man is great. Yeah. It's probably one it's of what, my two favorites. Seasons? It's only two bring, seasons. They're bringing it back. I heard. Yeah, um, but it's like that's like okay, I can catch up. Now One Punch is the guy that is always looking for somebody better, better to fight, right? Because he he's beats too everybody. strong. He's, so too he's strong. kind of depressed because he wins everything in One mm-hmm. Punch. So he's, he's trying to find dude. somebody that he can actually. Fight. Yeah, funny prop like. 
it's a really funny show because right. they'll, they'll have this big monster that's destroying everything. You'll see like four people die trying to fight him. There's like all this buildup, and then he's just like, Psh, and it explodes. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, <laughs> I thought that was going to go way different. Because <laughs> at first you're like, how, how wouldn't that get old? Right. But no, they, they wrote the shit out of that show. And it's crazy how short it is. And that's what I was wondering. I was like, how does this not get old? Like, how do you not get tired of watching the same thing? Are they going to beat him up first? Like, he ain't going to be able to get a lick in. But when he does get the lick in, it ends. It's like, okay, so that's the route they're going. Okay, cool. His training process was, like, very doable, too. Yeah. Didn't they say he did, like, yeah. 100 push-ups a day? <laughs> it was literally that. And then, like, the way he lost his hair is a funny little, like, side story. Because he's Could, bald, but originally yeah. he had hair. And he's, like, very upset about the fact that he's bald. <laughs> Um, because, and then, like, his sidekick always gets destroyed. He's the cyborg. Every episode, he just gets taken out, like, So all he's the Kenny. Time. His sidekick is Kenny. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> um, you bastards. But the simplest premise for a show, I would say. Yeah. yeah. I want to start that over, too. I have so much. Like, my queue of shows to watch are just, it's just endless. Do you do you use Crunchyroll, or you just, like, no, I'm not. That's what's crazy. Like, since I like gaming and weird stuff, people, everybody assumes I just super watch anime. Yeah. Like, everybody was just like, especially when Kev did his series, they were just like, have Patrick go through the blah, blah. I was like, I don't know any. He's further than me at this point. <laughs> if the anime ain't on, like, Netflix or Hulu, I probably don't have access to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The kid watches uh, herself on Crunchyroll, and I really think she just has Brennan's long hair. <laughs> yeah, I have it, too. <laughs> I have it, too. It's funny. He... He, he he I think the password is like Brennan is awesome and I was like it's what he's like, like I that, want yeah. I want everybody to type this in <laughs> and say it and I was like I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm missing out I'm going to miss out on all this anime because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to type that <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about you <laughs> I was like I'm, I'm just going to miss out How on all this How loud is stuff. that that you walk by at that very moment We're pretty That's loud. very interesting <laughs> Oh man, JJK, right? Brandon Edwards, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this year, I might not take as many vacations, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be seeing some shows. I'm going to go to some concerts. I'm going to see some theaters, and I'm going to do it all through game time. Why, you ask? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I get the chance to tell you, and I get to brag about something. Here's the thing. With these ads... I love bringing y'all stuff that y'all gonna actually use because this is stuff that I actually use. I still use Game Time to this day. I love the fact that they have last minute deals. They sell tickets after the event has started. You're gonna get the best price match guarantee that you'll find across the board. I love the fact that I can reserve a ticket or go check out a ticket. I will see not only where I'm sitting in that venue, but I will also get to see what the view looks like in that venue from said seat with augmented reality. I get to see, okay, I can see stage right here, exits right there, bathrooms right there. I get to do everything I want to do all through the app. It is the best experience I've ever had with purchasing tickets. Cause you know, like I know, purchasing tickets can be, a, it can be stressful. It can build up the anxiety. What is the purpose of going to an event that you are hoping to relax and enjoy and you have to build up all that anxiety for? We're not doing that. Not in 2024. We're done with that. It's trash, okay? So listen, this is what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to download the Game Time app, create an account, okay? It takes very little time, and then use the code DIYS and you'll get $20 off your first purchase. Now, terms apply, but this is something you want to do. Download the Game Time app. Okay, create an account and use the code DIYS for $20 off your first purchase. It gets no easier than that. Game time, baby. Put me in, coach. Y'all can keep that. All right, so we should get a little one story, I guess. Let's get into a story. Um, damn. Okay, Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett's back in the news. Oh, my God. On some action hero-ish. So apparently, Jada Pinkett Smith... Scared off intruders in an attempted home invasion. This woman is turning out to be way more hardcore than I ever, ever thought. Um, but yeah, it says she had a scary incident take place earlier this week after two men attempted to break into her home. Law enforcement tells the outlet that the men climbed onto her balcony and tried to break in before Jada spotted them and scared them off. Officers responded to the scene and took a report, but they were unable to capture the suspects. It is unclear if Jada was at home alone at the time, but thankfully, no one was harmed. What do you think she did to scare them away? I think she had that strap over. I was going to say, probably a gun, but... She seems, she seems like she would own a pistol. 
<laughs> All right, Taylor. Calling her G.I. Jane. That's what we got. I see, mean, that's, I, that's what happened hey, last time. See, that's listen, calm it down. <laughs> um, I I don't know, bro. Like she, <sighs> I just picture her running toward the window, and be like, wooga, 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 wooga. <laughs> scaring them away, literally. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, they live on a compound, don't they? Like I thought that's I thought they did. Yeah, they it was a so whole these people who broke thing. into the compound well, and, and got then... to her balcony window. Yeah, that's like, really it should scary. be pretty inaccessible. That's probably the weirdest part about homeowner, like owning a big house is like your security has to be on point because there's yeah. so many entry points and, and it seems like, I don't know. I guess it's just because I live in LA and everything's so condensed where I'm at, but it's, that seems scary. Like how do, I'm sure the Smiths have security guards. Yeah. Yeah. You I would mean, think so. Level, I would level. want, I, I mean, unless I was Tony Stark and I had like the, the technology guns. to have like the... The, the 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 motion detectors on mm. the guns and like if <laughs> turrets you, yeah so like even if you're part of my family or staff you have a bracelet right that like they would identify I'm like all right don't fire up on this person but anybody else that sounds like a disaster died. waiting I was gonna to say someone forgets their bracelet one hey, time hey man you better, right? you better you better let you better let know you better let the staff it, know what if they leave it at your house uh uh-uh, uh no no it's like a friendship bracelet it don't never come off uh, that's a big commitment hey to visiting hey listen. You gotta be don't ever take friend, it off. You gotta stay forever. That's crazy. Don't if you ever take it, it off. If you take it off in your house, you die on the you way. You gotta out. let us know before. I mean, it would be like something that it would only be deadly to you if you were on grounds after it had been armed. So, like, if it's just a regular day, or just oh, regular hours throughout the day, we don't need it. But like, once the security, like, say, if we got ten security guards throughout the day, and at night we cut it down to five. All right, once the, the that that crew leaves, then on five we we start the security system. So that they make up. You know, these are non-lethal, non-lethal. Uh, non-lethal, non-lethal uh, it could be like like rubber bullets or something. Like that. Rubber bullets. I want, probably, I want them huge. to die, Cam. Have you seen a rubber bullet? They are huge. I want them to die, Cam, because mm-hmm. you shouldn't be here. Right? Yeah, but but then you got to deal with the whole legal thing because now you killed somebody or else your On robots did. On my property, which is private I, property. I get that. I get that. Look at rubber bullets. How is that not lethal? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Rubber bullets, are great. Okay, we could do that. Look at that. Yeah. These these look like mm-hmm. giant dildos. Yeah, because if you get hit in the eye with that, you're gonna blind. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna be blind. And that's the thing with like with like with Oakland. Like I was like, how do you, how do you combat that? Because like killing, shooting somebody with deadly force for breaking the car seems excessive. But there car? has to be some type of consequence. Like, right. how do you combat bipping at this point? Mm-hmm. It's so hard to, to even say because there was a video that was going around and viral that went viral. He he was uh, this dude was walking into his house and two dudes like ran up on him, but mm-hmm. he had a gun on him and mm-hmm. he shot them. But he's being tried right now. Yeah, and everybody's like furious because they're like, I, I don't I don't understand what to do. You know, yeah. like I it's like if you can get attacked by people with guns, they want your stuff, they want your life. You got kids in the house yeah. and stuff. And you have a gun on you, like what? Is that the guy that was getting out like the Range Rover or something like that? Or this is another guy? No, I've seen that. You don't see yeah. him actually getting out of his car. It's like a long hallway. That, it seems like a really big house. Mm-hmm. So it's one of those door like hallways that are like all stone and it goes up to the so he was basically just walking up and he was got his keys and you see the people jumping over the fence. Oh, okay, yeah. And I they run up on him and he he pops them. I don't think he killed anybody, but I just I don't get I don't get the the laws are so crazy that it's like you just have to go to jail if you That's crazy, have a gun man. and use it in self defense. It's just like all right, yeah, jail or death. That's easy. That's that's that right there single handedly makes me want to move to Texas. Like cause Texas, they don't you, give you, a damn. Oh no, you free you you ride people ride around with a with a shotgun in their back windshield of the pickup truck. <laughs> Nothing says fuck me like if fuck around and find out like that. That's crazy. N- nothing says that like that. Road road rage videos from the south are c- so different. Mm. Like that's when I really seen like people get shot for cutting people off, and yeah. it's like, all right, I ain't, I'm out the road rage game. <laughs> thought at the most was a middle finger. I thought the most would be like getting out and throwing hands. Nah, but nah. Uh, sheesh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's you know, it's always two two sides of that sword. But man, when when it comes to like protection, ah, I don't know. Ah. I actually like guns, so it sucks that so many people are like fucked up with them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You have a gun? Uh, no, of course not. <laughs> Rolling around with one of them uh, 18th century guns, <laughs> them long ones. <laughs> 
Cam, do you have a gun? You have a baby. I'm just saying, once you have something, something the two precious do not go to hand protect. In hand. It should not go hand in hand. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, it doesn't things change? Like, dang, you, you, this is a very precious thing I got to protect. Yeah. Until she gets the gun and then... Then, then there's issues. Mm. Um, yeah, but, but they got them uh, them the little safes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm locks. against guns overall. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I just got a safe. You like... The thumb print, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. But once down. someone breaks in, now you got to run to your safe and try and open that up, and then by that time, they're inside and... Yeah, but so, Cam, what's your... What's your level of protocol for safety because it seems like you you uh, you have all the downsides of gun and gun safety mm-hmm. so what's your so like he like when you mentioned like the kid would get to the gun and now it's a problem or somebody mm-hmm. breaks your house now you got to go to the safe and like so he knows all the downsides of it right so what's your protocol for safety a bat not living in you know what i don't know <laughs> I don't have an answer for that. That's the thing. Is it's such a sticky situation. Were you right. gonna say not living in a bad neighborhood? Yeah, <laughs> live in, yeah, like not not live around people essentially. Well, I'm, I'm sure that they're they're on a but lot I mean, of houses. Look at if Will Smith, Will right. Smith's getting broken into at that point. Like you could live, you could be the richest you want to be, and people are still gonna. They right. said uh, Ryan you, Garcia so. was in Las Vegas this past weekend for the Super Bowl. Boxer, and, uh, I think so. Yeah, and somebody broke into his Airbnb while he was gone. Yeah, they were gone, but like Bold. it's just like. That nigga got it's, hands. It's, it's, <laughs> that nigga yeah. hit so hard. Yeah, listen, <laughs> hands are hands, but hands ain't got shit on bullets. That's true. I think my overall issue with guns, though, is the types of guns we have available to people. Like I think ARs. If, that were, if that were more restricted, then mm-hmm. I'd be like, okay, it makes more sense Yeah. Uh, yeah. in that sense. But like, if, if you've got a pistol and someone's got a machine gun, then yeah, yeah, you're yeah. You better be a outmatched. good fucking shot. Yeah. You still win. <laughs> yeah, you still win. <laughs> right. Like you take you take the automatics out and it it does change things a lot, but shit I got a I mean a friend of mine got a nice little revolver big ass gun and if that motherfucker hit you it's gonna take your arm off yeah mm-hmm. so I mean the, even even the revolvers are yeah they're, they're, I mean you, I love to be like really good at some type of either martial arts a sword or like bow and arrow yeah a because that's a cool skill that most people don't have <laughs> yeah. and like uh-huh. they solves your problem right there <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's What's the bow and arrow out? laws in California? Exactly. Well, no, I'm sure. No, no. I'm sure. I heard something downstairs. I'm show sure these motherfuckers. <laughs> I, w- I would pay good money to see. Yeah, but if you get hit or a a bo- an arrow cam. flies by you breaking in someone's house, you're probably leaving the house. Oh, yeah. Or if I hear a shwink, yeah. and mm-hmm. it goes shwink, and you're like, but I have a gun. Like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> out of there. Fuck it, out of there. <laughs> That's wild. I wanted to take fencing. Cause I just feel like it would be dope to know, and then also like, you know, this black guy that knows how to fence, so fucking expensive. Is it so? Fucking oh, it is like a rich buy kid your, type all of your thing. Gear oh my god, the gear, the actual swords, the the face masks, the wobbly the swords are expensive. What man? The they're all know how to price too. you out of a out of a uh, uh, mm-hmm. activity. They oh, they've know. always been like that. So no, the early days they were real swords, or yeah. uh, but now they're not. Uh, you, know who got the point you can't rent. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can, but like but just the membership to a club to like probably, join a club yeah. or something like that is crazy too. Like, damn, it's so fucking expensive. And then getting the right suit that actually has the material in it, so when somebody does parry and hit you, mm-hmm. it beeps instead of going through. Man, I was like, fuck this. I shit, thought bro. you could rent or something. That's crazy. Also, in it terms of like self defense or sword fighting, that's not gonna have very. Happen. I feel like fencing is not gonna be able to help you out a whole lot. Nah, 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 nah. They, it's they just to be able to say martial arts a lot. The the upper crust that I can do it, mm. cause like tennis is cool, but like now you got more blacks doing yeah, tennis. It's like yeah. I ain't standing out as much. Exactly. I need <laughs> something to set me away from these niggas. <laughs> 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 and what better than fencing, my dear? Just a. Uh, I took a couple martial arts that used fencing, like how they use their feet mm-hmm. and like how they launch off of their back foot. So I feel like it could go into other stuff mm-hmm. because it does just look. It looks fun. It does. Even when you watch it at the Olympics, it's like, man, I wish I grew up doing that. I wanted to do it ever since I saw Pierce Bronson do it on that. Uh, oh yeah. 007. I was like, I want to do that shit. That shit look good. Them motherfuckers what? fucked up that whole club. They fucked up that whole club in James Bond. Why do I know what you're talking about? You saw that one. It's, it's uh, a, scene. What's yeah. that? Die another day. I don't know his his uh, goal. To, I don't remember all of his the names of. And it was um. Songs. They were just I like practicing with, with uh, each other, or they were really fighting. 
No, they they were it got it got it got serious because yeah. he was accusing the guy of it, and I think the guy was on to him. But uh, that was the one I think with Holly Berry. Mm, yes. What's up, people? This episode of Damn Internet You Scary is sponsored by the good folks over there at Blue Chew. Y'all already know about Blue Chew. I'm gonna tell y'all again, just in case we got some people who that don't know. Listen, I just reached in my draw. Boom. That's Blue Chew right there. Okay. Boom. Same active ingredients that you get from Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra right here. Way more affordable in a chewable tablet. Keep it wherever you need it, okay? So you're always ready when the moment arises. You'll arise too. <laughs> you'll rise up. You understand me? I love Blue Chew. I'm a big fan of it, big supporter of it. Have been for many years now, okay? This isn't, it ain't just a front. And again, I said this before, I love putting y'all along to brands that I think you will actually benefit from. Fellas, when I tell you, you know what I'm saying? When I tell you, I didn't need Blue Chew when I tried it out. I wanted to try it out just to see what it could be. You see all the stuff at other places, but you don't, I don't really trust that stuff. You know, I, I want something to come with a receipt. I want a paper trail I can look over. And that's what Blue Chew is. You get to do all of this online. You sign up online. All right. Once you finish the survey, uh, you'll be contacted one of their licensed physicians. They'll ask you a couple of questions, and then it comes to your front door. All right. An unmarked package, all right, very discreet. Ain't nobody going to be in your business. You ain't got to take no trips to the doctor's office. It's all done online, man. And I love the fact that you can change uh, the dates that you want to deliver. If you want to pause for a month, you got to go out of town or you got enough for your last one, you can do whatever you need to. But the most important thing is the, the results. You you can't argue with the results, people. So, fellas, I'm, I'm listen, I can't make you do it. But I encourage you to, all right? Check out Blue Chew. You will not be disappointed at all. All right, all you have to do is go to bluechew.com. Use our promo code, all right? D-I-Y-S. D-I-Y-S is going to get you a free month of Blue Chew. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. $5 for shipping. It's easy work. So head on over to bluechew.com right now. Use our promo code D-I-Y-S and get your first month completely free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. Do it right now. You will not regret it. Holla at your boy. I haven't even finished that. That's no, there's not a lot of series I've completely finished. <laughs> yeah. That's one that you, isn't really a series. They're all disjointed. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to see the previous one to, to watch the, the Daniel next. Craig's were those legit. were more most were more like in sequence yeah yeah those were lit he was actually a better James Bond than I thought I'm excited yeah. to see this next one who like how him? is he gonna do are they doing another one yeah is yeah, there gonna be someone new though yeah it's gonna be someone new okay yeah stay really? with the guy that didn't go with the girl yeah, they ain't go with the girl. Yeah. And wasn't Idris Elba up, up for it? It nah. was a whole rumor. There was a, there was yeah. a, yeah, I think there he was, was tweeting. Let's get the people going. Yeah. Yeah, they were not gonna like, you think you're going to see a black Batman? Batman? You think you're going to see a black Batman? The day they you made, see a black they, Batman, they, they, Batman they, they got the multiverse. They got the comics for him. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And like with this multiverse thing, the yeah. chicken Batman, it just doesn't matter. They don't give a shit. They're like, yeah, it's an alternate universe. It's <laughs> <laughs> bat mites. Yeah, y'all think we don't see a black James Bond, though. They don't do the whole universe multi shit. Yeah, I heard there was like a lot of racist people that were like, I'm not watching this fake movie if you're oh, fake yeah, absolutely. Secret, secret agent. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, when they were talking about the chick, the, the black chick in the, the Daniel Craig last two movies, mm -hmm. being, her being the next James Bond. Man, it was, you saw the racist really telling them, I'm not a racist, but that nigger can't do it. That's <laughs> so random. How are we going to tell him have, apart from the tuxedo? People have the strangest, <laughs> strong opinions, because like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, right. it doesn't. Especially if they're changing every couple movies anyways. Yeah. It's like a made-up character. Like I see people like, I grew up on Little Mermaid. We don't have to change everything, because... That's how I felt. There was like a new Scooby Doo where like Shaggy was black or no, yeah, it was or was it Velma? I think Velma uh, was like a lesbian. Shaggy was black. The new, this oh, new HBO one, series. That, that one that's on HBO Max. Yeah, and it got the they worst did reviews ever. Too much. They, I would say I didn't like it because they did too much. It was the yeah. it was too much. Including black yeah, people were like, like, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo Wait, was I Mexican. Think, <laughs> they did. Did they make Shaggy black? I don't remember. But yeah, it I don't was, even think Scooby was in it. Bro, it's um. That that Harley Quinn that's on uh, Harley Quinn makes good. That's actually a good. That's one. a way. That's a way to like go to the limit, mm -hmm. but not change too much of it. Needs to be, and it's funny. It's like, funny. It was, animated or animated. It's an animated show? Yeah. Yeah. It's Who's great. black? No, we're not saying that. They they it's based their own universe. Yeah. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy end up dating and shit like that. Okay. Uh, Harley Quinn is a loose. She's a loose cannon the whole fucking time, but like she means well. Uh, and then while they build their crew and shit, and it's just like a whole crew of misfits. Batman's and, like, like incompetent. Yeah. <laughs> 
What? It's That's very his whole funny. thing is yeah. confidence. But he's like the funny and confident. Like, yeah. uh, it's and they try to call him on him like I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, incompetent how? Like he he messes up plans and stuff, or he's not like a good strategist? He can't, like, talk, like it's kind of if Batman was more real, I guess, like a real person. Like he's like awkward in the sense that he's like some guy who lives alone and is like he's Batman. He's a crazy man. Yeah, he doesn't have great social skills. Yeah, he doesn't have very good social skills. It's a bunch of things. Is it comedy? Yeah, it's one hundred percent comedy. Oh shit! So Batman's not like fighting for real. No, there's not a whole lot of action with him in it. At least he's a, he's yeah. very much a side character because it's very much about yeah, yeah he's definitely a side character. Crazy. Like he went to go get the Joker that one time on yeah. the boat, and he set up Harley again. Exactly. Like that. Yeah. yeah. So this on HBO. Mm, yes. Max. Yeah. It's pretty good though. I enjoy it. The animation DC does good animation. Yeah. Oh, Movies yeah. kings of animation. Yeah. yeah. But animation, they know how to do that. Their their animations are actually legit. I yeah. love their Batman movies. Their, their animation is that that's their entree. That's they that's they good ribs. That's they good fried chicken. <laughs> they <laughs> they movies be the size. They, they those be the bullshit ass green right. beans and questionable ass mac and cheese. But they do they do good entrees, baby. Good animations. That's crazy. It seems like superheroes in general are sort of drowning right now. Oh my god, DC is taking a hit. Deadpool three is supposed to save it. Huh? Deadpool three is supposed to save it. I was I was uh Marvel though. I wish yeah. they showed I wish they showed more of in the commercial at the Super Bowl. I'm glad they didn't because so I like when I think uh, trailers spoil way too much of these movies now, yeah. and I'm glad yeah. they're holding it off. Like we didn't see what Wolverine actually looks like and all that. Um, but I'm excited for it overall. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Deadpool, De- I feel I, you are right. That is going to be the thing that's like actually going to get people to start watching Marvel again because I just I just can't keep up anymore. They uh, started doing the shows, and I thought I really thought Nick Fury's show was going to be it was uh, it was such a letdown. Really yeah. good. Yeah, so they had potential. Watch. Part of it too is just like they're not giving themselves the time to make it look good anymore because before yeah. the, the the CGI looked good for the time and like Avengers and that, and now it's just like you can tell everything's so rushed. Yeah, that nothing so. looks finished. I and mean, if you watch the series with uh, Nick Fury and that, like they spent a lot of money on that show, and the CGI at the end looks terrible. At the end? At the end of the at the at the show? Uh-huh. Yeah, with the whole like super scroll when like their arms are supposed to like change into different things and that, it just mm-hmm. does not look good at all. Damn. Um, and then at the, I don't know if you saw the recent Flash movie with Michael Keaton as Batman. Yeah. yeah. That opening sequence was just like out of a video game. Yeah. And, and the fight one? sequence. The <laughs> opening scene when he's like saving all the babies. The babies? You can clearly see that mm-hmm. those are like. Fake babies. Yeah. Oh, the rendering no, just was not finished. Even the fight scene though when they were like in that big field and yeah. all of that it was just like it was so much going on it was like I, I feel like the more chaotic it is, the better for them because you're yeah. not close enough to really spot stuff out. But then out. it's like it's right. chaotic for the viewer because it's like, what the hell is going on? Bro, what am I? Why am yeah. I doing this? I shouldn't be doing this to watch it. I hate it. I, it's it's, it's, oh. I it's like it's like some of the Fast and Furious car scenes. Mm, yeah. Like, what, what, where yeah. are we at? I like The Flash. I've seen it like, seen it like four this times. This last one? Like that movie? So like I couldn't believe they actually put it out after that dude got com- yeah. well That's after he was accused crazy. of crazy. This motherfucker kidnapped he, an underage kid. Yeah, went on a fucking. He didn't he punch a woman. He did. He went a whole round. He was like, <laughs> uh, hunt, he was hunt, being hunted by law enforcement for a while yes. after doing a string of things. And they was like, you ain't gonna catch the already, flash. We already. Fi- <laughs> 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 That's really fucked up. <laughs> Anybody else, he would have been caught in a week, but the, the Flash, they kept getting to the scene like, <laughs> just missed him. <laughs> Damn, I did like that movie. It's crazy that they like Jonathan Majors. What's interesting is who's out of there uh, immediately. They, uh, what, I forget the, uh, their name, uh, but the character who played Flash was actually the better part of that movie. Mm. In Ezra? my opinion, yeah, Ezra Miller he was, was great in he that. Was the better part of that movie, acting wise, in that. I, I didn't mind him playing the Flash, mm-hmm. um, but like the rest of the movie just was not put well, well put together at Mm-mm. all. I, I liked him talking to his younger self. I thought he was really, really good. That's why I was just like, damn, why you got to be an asshole? Because you're an uh, actually a really good Flash. And I, I remember everybody judging him, like comparing him to Jonathan Majors when Jonathan Majors got cut. They were mm-hmm. just like, bro, Flash was out here doing wow. way worse shit. They talking about uh, getting uh, Giselle's son to replace Jonathan Majors in the uh, Marvel Kang? Universe. It's Kang. Yeah. What's the good for thing for them, not like for Jonathan Majors, but because it's a whole multiverse thing, they can easily be like, well, well this, this is, is a different one. It's a different yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't yeah, have to look true. exactly the same. And he doesn't. That's true. Yeah, I just I just saw how they replaced Justin Roiland. Um, what is that alien show? Solar Opposites, the Rick and Morty guy. Oh man, oh, yeah. him with the British voice. Mm-hmm. But they yeah. were just they just literally like they went also... back to the pilot and they shot his neck with like a voice changer. Interesting. <laughs> and then he was like he he had a different voice and they're like 
What's wrong with his voice? He's like, fi- sounds fine. Sounds the same to me. And then they just, <laughs> yeah, that's that's just no changed I it. haven't, I know they did the same with Rick and Morty because the guy who plays Rick and Morty isn't playing them anymore. Right. And they just put out the new season. And I don't know if all the episodes are not him. they using multiple people. Yeah, there's different people. Yeah. Um, for it, but I heard some of the episodes still had him because they had already taped some. Mm-hmm. They were like halfway through the series when that happened. People really be fumbling the bag. Him fumbling. The he also bag. though he created the show too though. Yeah, he created That's... the show. He did bo- both voices. He did Solar Opposites, and he has a uh, animation studio and a video game company that yeah. are both fire. And he had to be fired from all of them. Which really be fumbling the fucking. They said toward the end though he was a horrible person to work with yeah. and work for. Mm-hmm. They said he did, added nothing creatively That's to fair. it. But I'm, it's like, I also built this bitch yeah. and right. gave y'all jobs. <laughs> and that's what writers are fucking for. So let me come in, do my fucking voice. But if he's creating a toxic environment where like yeah. he's cursing people out and, and just, you know, misogyny just all over the place, that's one thing. But if he was just like, bitch, I hired y'all so y'all write the scripts. I come in as the talent. Mm-hmm. If I don't want to be a part of the writing team anymore, I ain't got to be mm-hmm. a part of the writing team anymore. Y'all do y'all thing. I trust y'all. That's why I hired y'all. Right. But if he was just like making it like just difficult to work, then I get it. But like, yeah. Well, then it's he, like, why do you have a company? Why would you hire people if you're going to make exactly. it hard for them to work? Do it all yourself then. Yeah. Yeah. I just shouldn't have to. Some weird shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. ruining that bag, baby. Mm. Like, damn. I, I, and it's crazy. Like, I be looking at creatives like that somehow because it's like, damn, he built all this these worlds. Are all creators, creatives, like secretly weird? Like it seems like a lot of people who are making these are. things. They when social media came out and it's like, oh, you get to actually find out who this person is. They're mm-hmm. like, whoa, yeah. hang on, <laughs> you like children? <laughs> That's why you're so good at cartoons. <laughs> That's fucking wild. Thought- yeah, but it is crazy, like how people didn't like some of the stuff isn't known beforehand though. Like so, it's, it was like some of this shit. Should- Definitely get out, but I, I don't know, man. Like that, that shit is crazy. They're saying that there's a dude on TikTok. I don't know what his name is, but he does really, really good Rick and Morty impersonations. Uh-huh. And that's where a lot of these studios are looking. That's how um, yeah. Old Boy Cleveland, when um, the dude stepped down as the voice, mm-hmm. he just had a Cleveland impersonation he was doing on YouTube. Now he's the official Cleveland. And they're thinking about making this TikToker. Uh, the new Rick and Morty voice, but they ju- they said that Justin added so much improv and extra sauce yeah, on it. But he mm-hmm. also would like come to set drunk. He would do some of uh, Rick's lines like totally wasted. <laughs> really? And that's what made it sound. He was really- a method yeah. actor, guys. Oh, for sure. No, I see. Like it's a method actor. That makes sense with Rick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a plus and minus to getting too much into the character and that. Yo, what up, it's your boy to hear more, and I want to let you know that I get compliments on my grooming all the time. All right. Fingernails, all of that smelling good, that's great. But these balls, okay? The balls is where it's at, all right? My lady appreciates the work and the quality care I put into it. And I feel good about that. And I owe that to Manscaped, all right? And I want to give Manscaped a shout-out not only for coming out with dope products, but continually pushing the envelope. Right now, they have the fifth-generation lawnmower available. And it's not just a trimmer, ladies and gentlemen, Okay, this is your grooming sidekick. It's equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. It's like having a personal stylist just for your grooming down there. You understand what I'm saying? Fellas, long gone are the days we walking around like cavemen with all this unnecessary hair. You don't have to live like that. Come into the light age, okay? Coming to the 21st century. When we out here, baby, we making things happening. And I love the fact that you get an entire grooming kit. In the grooming kit, you get the trusted lawnmower, manscaped, ear and nose hair trimmer, and the essential aftercare products like the Crop uh, Soother, uh, this like ball aftershave lotion and the crop preserver anti chafing ball deodorant. Uh, this is in the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0, a full grooming experience. Everything you knew to take need to take your grooming to the next level. Listen, stop leaving your balls out. You go to the bathroom, you brush your teeth, you wash your face, you comb your hair, you get in the shower, you wash your body, you wash your feet, and you just do nothing else. No, take your balls to the next level. Elevate your balls and do it today with Manscaped, all right? All you have to do is use our code DIYS. You get $20 off and free shipping. What's better than that? Absolutely nothing. So go to manscaped.com right now. Use our code DIYS. $20 off and free shipping. You're welcome in advance. Take care of your balls, people. Take care of them balls. Peace. Uh, For sure. But, but the, your, uh, your, your point of... Uh... 
what did you say? Uh, people who could not, it's not interpreter. Uh, what word am I thinking of? Uh, impersonator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Right, but I feel like, are they so wrapped up in trying to sound like the other person that they can't add extra mm-hmm. flair to it? If, if their whole job is like, I got to sound like Justin, and Justin's like, I've been doing this voice for years, I'm going to just improv and say whatever. Mm-hmm. I think that was his his big thing was like how much he can improv and add to it. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm kind of nervous about how it's going to... Well, shit, I mean, like, I don't, I don't know, man. Every, everybody's different. Like, I feel like when you have a little grace, you're like, hey, like how we shoot uh, uh, workplace comedy. Mm-hmm. Once you once you know what needs to be said to move this, the scene along, as mm-hmm. long as you get this first line and this last line in, in between here, as long as it don't take too long, Let's fucking have fun with it, mm-hmm. and I think that's where he'll get the the people will get more comfortable with the improv and, and you know making it more yeah. like that. But you know, and like if you've got the impersonation down, um, like to hear said once you've got uh, if you've got time to practice that and really get that down, which I'm hoping they're hiring people who are like really good at it mm-hmm. and don't aren't overthinking it like that. I would I think that'd be second nature if it's yeah. like a voice if you do voice yeah. acting. Good. Yeah, that's true. It seems like most good voice actors aren't really even thinking about it. Yeah, when they're doing impersonations. Well. <laughs> So I'm trying to get up out of here, guys. Pop, 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 pop. That's crazy. We went all over the place with that one. <laughs> Movies, shows. Defending yourself. <laughs> Defending yourself. <laughs> babies shooting guns, guns. All that type of stuff. You know. Swords. It happens in arrows. Swords. <laughs> <laughs> I still want to do fencing. I need a, I need a pure white sugar mama. Okay. I don't white want pure one. Because I, I, I want her to understand what I want to do and not judge it. I don't want a white sugar mama that been hanging around a lot of black people. Like, why you want to do that goofy shit? No, no. I want pure. I want one generation removed slave owner white. Whoa, just one generation? Just one. Because I want it like a low key. Like I want it to be like, like she fuck with me, but she kind of like want to fuck with me because she knows she's not supposed to fuck with me. Oh, that type of yeah, okay. just a little bit. Just 1920s a little bit. white. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We go to the to the skip hop and all of that shit. <laughs> Whatever the dancers used to be called back then. <laughs> the barnyard romps. <laughs> I want to do real white shit. I want to uh, uh, row. I want to do fencing, god damn me. Hot air balloons. I've done that. Um, That's scary as hell. I want to do all that shit, man. So, I want, so scary. Yeah. I need, I need that. There's no... White water rat. Well, I can't swim. I've done that. I, I mean, like falling I would, out of that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I, I I would do it, but it's like it's no oh, guarantee. Swim, damn! All these other things. Yeah, yeah, then right. That takes, that takes some of the edge away sugar from some of the shit that I do. Pay for that first. <laughs> Swimming lessons. <laughs> then white water raft. <laughs> <laughs> I will only take swimming lessons if we get to do it in the privacy of her own home. I don't want to do this shit at no no YMCA where other people can see me. Well, and she be has a husband. Said, who? Sure, this 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 fake person. No, 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 no. She doesn't. A single pure white sugar mama? Yes, yeah. Husband died. Oh, a, a widower. widower. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she ain't she she came from money, married it to money, and now she got buku money. Mm-hmm. And she just wants some young black peen. Because her husband died during an unfortunate swimming accident. White water rafting. You next. Yeah. That sounds like a setup. <laughs> well, I mean, that's all the more reason not to learn how to swim. <laughs> not to learn. <laughs> Maybe I can't swim. You know I can't go out there. Now. It'll be fun. You liar, bitch. All right. Well, listen, guys. As always, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud, and this has been another episode of Damn Internet. You scary. We'll see you next week. Are you? What's that? It? To this was the bow. The... It's a bow and arrow. <laughs> Stanley made bow and arrow. <laughs>